This is the starting condition with the secondary throttle valve in its normal uh, resting position. We turn the ignition on and it should do its little dance. And then of course the display should uh, come up with a COO meaning uh, no errors in this condition. Now we're going to see that with the uh, plug disconnected from the simulator and also from the OEM circuitry that we'll get the C28 uh, error will come up after it times out uh, when it thinks it's trying to find it and there it is. Here we have the secondary throttle valve simulator board. I just have it uh, temporarily sitting on the console right now. It connects into the secondary throttle valve uh, position sensor and also the former uh, motor drive circuit. And then now that it's connected we can open up the secondary throttle valve to the fully open position before we start it. Now when the bike starts it's going to have quite a high RPM because the linkage is still connected to the fast idle mechanisms. So let's turn the ignition on. We get our COO reading and I can start the bike now. 